So today we're going to talk about how I uh, design Celtic knots to fit in a defined shape or area. In this case, I did a knot within a butterfly wing. So this basically here is the defined area. And it turned into, into this. I kind of scanned the one wing in and then made sure it was just black and white, flipped it, and then printed it uh, on this sort of printer paper and traced the design onto my illustration board and painted it. So you can paint it, you can do black and white, however you would like to finish these guys. Uh, and this has been used for a, a, a tattoo design. So just some ideas of what I've been up to. This was one of the other ones I did, which she didn't quite like as much, but who knows, someone else might. I love the Celtic butterflies. A Celtic knot in a heart. Another Celtic knot in a heart shape. So the defined area or shape in the these cases were the hearts. So what are we going to do next? Okay, getting ready to draw a Celtic design within a shape. Maybe in the next video uh, you can tell me what shape you think I should try to draw something in. Um, before I start, I usually have a few books that I like to just keep on hand to keep me inspired and maybe to help me find the feel of what I want to do. Because basically I'm not doing any specific kind of mark that already, or Celtic design that already exists. I'm doing something contemporary and my own. Um, Courtney Davis is one of my favorites. He is a fantastic designer. He uses a great deal of uh, contemporary, which is new in his own, uh, mixed with, you know, the basics of, of real Celtic knot design. He's got some fantastic work. Love this guy. So I usually go through this book to find something. Sometimes I just have, you know, whatever books on hand, especially if I'm not at home. These ones are a little lighter and easier to put in my in my drawing bag. Gives me looks and feels and different ideas. Sometimes doing a Celtic Dawn is just a fantastic way to doodle. So this is just, I don't know, I think someone gave this to me for Christmas once. And I'm, I'm always getting getting some great books from people. So this one, apparently I'm supposed to be able to iron these on. <laughs> but you can see that these are done to different shapes as well. And that many of these are taken from existing uh, pieces in the world, whether jewelry or sculptures out there. They're great for ideas. So, I'm going to define an area and start drawing a beautiful Celtic knot. Hmm. Maybe I'll do a house. My husband can use a house. He builds houses. So I usually start light. 2H is a hard pencil and it's light. That way when I get to the point where I'm doing some erasing. I'll do it. I'm going to peek so I have more. Driving me crazy. Now, when I draw, I don't use a lot of protractors. I like to eyeball things, but there are lots of fantastic artists out there online that you can get other lessons from. Yeah, so let's do something different. I've never done a house. It may also look like an up arrow which is fairly positive. I like to try and stay positive. It's worked some days. So the best thing to do, once I've defined my space, I'll sort of clean up the areas that I don't want to get myself confused with. It's good to have a divider line because there's usually, usually something. Okay, now, one of the inspirations, because I like these sort of style of knots, they're nice and organic looking, I'm going to look at these guys right here. 
Yeah, fantastic.